Restaurants and movies appear Amusement parks and ocean piers Or we're built in love by family Atlantic City's face A changing place Time to lead the way See the old become the new. Remember yesterday. Rolling chairs and Charlie cars, Ferris wheels and movie stars. For what built and loved by family. Atlantic City, my hometown. postcard show. I'm Joseph Palillo. My co-host is John Palillo. We flip postcards and uh, what we do is talk about Atlantic City, New Jersey, the past, the present, the future, development, architecture, the island, the area, the region. And what we'd like you to do is call a friend, tell a friend the television postcard show is on now. Maybe just about half time. Start your VCRs. Uh, start your VCRs. Tape the shows. We need them. What we want you to do is move closer to your television set. Tape it if you want. We'd like to thank everybody who has responded to the show in phone calls, letters, postcards, messages. Uh, it's been uh, very good for a uh, TV station here. We're on the same time, same station every Sunday at 2 p.m. right here. John, would you like to say something before we start? Well, it's historical information here. You're going to see scenes that you can't see no more because the majority of the things that we're going to show you are actually, to tell you the truth, they're gone. They're out of the picture. <laughs> so what we're going to do is show you some of the past and work our way through these shows to the present and possibly the future. Well, the show's about Atlantic City, and we can go to the postcards. Uh, yes, our show today is to be lifeguards, and there is a postcard of lifeguards years ago breaking a wave going out to uh practice and row i imagine john well it's kind of night but that's the uh, atlantic city lifeguard boats with lifeguards in it going out and past the breakers and what happens there is they work these boats to save lives here here's some lifeguards that's how they ran them out they, they were on wheels and like carriages and years later our time uh, they just put the roll there a log that would go in the front there would be two of them they push them back all right they used to be made of wood and now they're made of fiberglass but this is the way they wheel them back and forth in and out of the water must have been but now, heavy huh? now they just use what they call rollers 
and they watch it and they move it as the tide goes out and back and forth they use it. Look at their reflection in the mud. Can you see it now? Yes, look at everyone with a uh, life flotation device. Right, you can see the life preservers that they have on. This is way back in time now. This is probably 1910, 1911. Yes, this is true. You can see them on the hard mud, the reflection in the mud. Off New York Avenue, I imagine. It's off one of the piers. You can see them shooting the, uh, shooting the wave. They had a guy in the back like the skulls have now. He's got his oar out the, what's that, the front or the back? Yeah, it's strange. They're probably coming in. The boats almost were the same in both directions at that time, and, and, but now they actually have a transom in the back, and the, you could tell the rear from the front. But in the past, the front and the back were almost exactly the same, like a canoe. Breaking out. And there they are. Sets hitting them. They're going out. It's pretty heavy. You know, uh, the island of Atlantic City uh, was incorporated into a city in 1854, and at Iowa Avenue there was a break in the island, and that says Atlantic City, New Jersey, and there were dunes then, and there's to be dunes now, and there's the crew bringing it up the beach on rollers. As you can see, the dunes, the, the artificial ones that they uh, put in the last couple years are man-made, but these were made by nature, and uh, they cut up a ditch in the dunes to get to the water, and you can see this like roller mechanism where they uh, put like a ladder roller and wheeled the boat out past the uh, dunes because from Virginia Avenue up it was all like this the beaches well this isn't Australia this is Atlantic City but we've seen this particular thing in use in Australia for lifeguards uh, maybe that's low tide and those uh, things stay there I see the man hanging uh, with the device as though he was saved maybe the water this was at low tide and this went out farther and when the tide came in there was an apparatus always in place to be rolled back with this line here. They went out with a line and attached Hooked it to the it to person. And wrenched him right in from the water so he wouldn't drown. They or hoisted him in. This practice is gone. They don't do this anymore around here. But you can see that this was a way to get the boat down to the water as well. There it is again. A number of devices, I guess, for people and for the boat. Right. And this is probably some lifeguards making sure that it works so that when they wheel it back up, that the rope doesn't get entwined in itself. And they use tents as headquarters, and that looks like south and the board and the right. beach. If you look out here off South Carolina Avenue back in the 1890s, here's the beach hospital tent for anyone that got injured or anything. And here's the poles where they tied the boat down at night. And there's a heck of a crowd on that beach if you look at it. They have doctors on duty for being cut with shells and other things. And if you got cut by a shell or stumped your toe or got a splinter, as it was known, you went to the medics. And the medics were in this tent. This tent is exactly at South Carolina Avenue on the beach. You can see the old shelf on that lot here that Sun has just acquired. If you're following the news of the last weeks or so, the hotel senator or King David nursing home would be laid right in here where my pointer is. The Lundy. And that's South Carolina and the boardwalk. This would be the child's restaurant and pavilion got put in over here. Well, it even says Beach Hospital Tent on this one. Let me take a few out. Beach Hospital Tent, right there. There's that's the south. Any lifeguards that are lifeguards that are seeing the show, this is what the main tent at South Carolina Avenue the Beach looked like in the 1910s, possibly. You can see a little bit of Steeplechase Pier here, and you can see the rest of Steel Pier right, lining out here. And this is the way you went to the beach in the, 18, in the 1910s. Well, I guess the chiefs and the lieutenants and the captains laid back there even in those days while the uh, other guys were at the stands. What was it, uh, headquarters? This is headquarters right here. And ha the way you can tell is you can notice that each two or three years, the particular w setup of this tent changes, and it becomes more permanent. It was a tent, then it becomes a wooden frame floor with a tent. Then as the years go by, you'll see that it actually becomes a structure on the beach. This says loading the sun on it, S-U-N, I don't know what that means, but there's an inspector of some sort, or just people on the beach looking at these items. All right, these are the wenches that they would bring down to the water to uh, actually wench something in from the water, either the boat or people. Looks a good distance from the water, same picture from before, All Right. trying to get the boat out.
They're on their way out with that one. Here's the apparatus, and the boat's coming off it, and they're m working it into the water. This is uh, up pretty far. There's no piers in sight up here, so it must be on the left-hand side or the eastern side of Heinz Pier, because that went up in the 1880s. Do you think any people crowded around Beach Headquarters at South uh, back in the uh, tens and teens and twenties? There's South Carolina Avenue and the beach. This is the Child's Pavilion here. You can see the Steel Pier Marine Ballroom out here. The water circus has not yet been erected or built onto the end. This is South Carolina Avenue tent. There's a bit of a gully and a sandbar because these people are too far out in the water to be swimming and standing. And there's a large crowd at South Carolina and the wood. And it was what they called the bathing hour. They only went there like at high tides pretty much. I they, thought was the trend. The uh, tourists would only show at the bathing hour. The locals went at any time. But you can see how the crowd would crowd up on the beach. This is South Carolina Avenue as well. The beach tent would be off to my right over here. But this is it again, and this is the way they gathered on the beach. Okay, now is this Missouri, or is it Virginia? I would have to say with the length of that pier. Michigan. The length of that pier would have to be Virginia. Okay. This would be the steel pier stretching out here before the marine ballroom went on the end of it, because there's no Captain Young's house. Virginia and Maryland Beach. This is Maryland Avenue Beach with a beach tent. Well, the cabanas. they had uh, beach tents, they, they turned them into playgrounds, then they had the headquarter building, which became construction, and then uh, the guards would go out and they'd be on different stretches of beach. I think there was a uh, headquarters for every stretch that had the stands on it. All right, and here's a little lifeguard stand here. Large crowd on the beach, big hollow backs breaking out there. This here pier, in past pictures, the way we see it, is sort of like the Central Pier, where Young's Hotel would be here and Central Pier would be here, which is now Schiff's Pier. But that's the way it looked at possibly Tennessee, Kentucky or Tennessee, and the boardwalk. If you look close at this one here, there, there are two lifeguard boats here, if you can see them on there. See I don't them know how there? good people can see it. There's a lifeguard two boat breaking out over the breakers here and one right beside them. You can see the steel pier out here with the marine ballroom built. And this is probably South Carolina Avenue and the beach. Well, we know that this is like Michigan Avenue and the we, beach. We definitely know that that's Michigan Avenue and the beach because here's the old Shelburne sitting here. You have Michigan Avenue here. You have the Dennis right here. And you'd say, like, what's this here? Well, this here was a canopy where they kept the rolling chairs. So when you came out of the hotels, you could get a rolling chair as if, you would, as if it were a taxi stand. And then you can see the lifeguards down here. And then you can see the Dennis Hotel with a new larger piece just finally put on this side. And each hotel had their own water towers. All right, you can see, see it back there. You can see their own water up above the roof so that gravity-fed water would feed the hotel baths and spigots and stuff. And what's the lifeguard got in his hand here? He's got one of them life... The lifeguard has a life ring, saver. life preserver or a life-saving uh, donut, they used to call them. Then they would bring their boats at uh, when the day was done. In September, when the fall was coming and they had to take the boats off the beach, they would bring them all up to Bulwark and Park Place. And here's the lifeguard boats right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a good 10 or 12 of them. And you can see the uh, guy still here making his uh, sand art, the sand sculptors doing his thing at the corner of Bulwark and Park Place in front of the Marlboro and the Blenheim Hotels. And what's that there, horses or something? These are horses, it looks like, apparently stabled over here a little bit. There's the lone lifeguard boat on the beach off Maryland Avenue. I would say so. That's the steel pier on the right. And this would be Maryland or States Avenue here. The lifeguards set up here. And what the lifeguards do? They save lives. Rescue people from the sea, right? And here's a rescue back in the 1800s somewhere. And, and what did the city usually do? They used to run municipal exercises on right. the beach. They used to have exercise programs on the beach. Here's the Child's Pavilion. Here's the main tent at South Carolina Avenue. You can see how the cabanas were laid up behind that. You can see them here. You can see the steeplechase pier that went to here and actually went all the way out. You can see it broken in the middle here, and then another piece, and then the steel pier ballroom. Now there'd be uh, behind it, the, there's the child's pavilion, right? Right here. So 
So, and that would be beach headquarters also there, correct? South Carolina Beach. And then they would line up for their picture, as they did this year and every other year to have their picture taken. There it is. There it is. There's the Atlantic City year? Beach Patrol. Let's the year? See. 1901. 1901. Or seven, one or seven. One or seven. We can't tell by the printing of the postmark, but the 190s, there they are. There's the beach patrol tent, the main tent. This must be the chief of the beach. Maybe the mayor's hiding in there somewhere, but here they are. How about a card with awnings and lifeguards and rolling chairs and storefronts? and a parade of lifeguards in Atlantic City. Look at that, coming down the boardwalk. Right, in any particular parade, the lifeguards, uh, first probably the high school band would go by like a normal local parade, and then you had the Atlantic City lifeguards would go down, dressed in their lifeguard uniforms. And you can see them here. Then the captains and lieutenants are dressed in blue blazers, white slacks, looking pretty good. They got the rolling chairs along the rail here. Is it in the picture? Uh, the rolling chairs would have to be moved in this way just a bit. Here yeah, they are lined up here. Here's the old light standards. They're probably gone by where here? Can you tell know. by the picture? Is it Arkansas in the wood? It looks it? like Arkansas in the wood between Florida, uh, Mississippi and Columbia place right in there. The awnings were good. Now there are some real classic cards going to be put up. If you want to really get tight, pay attention, look closer. This one is a very good one. There's another picture of the tent. Look how it comes off the pavilion. Now, we believe that this pavilion is the Kentucky Avenue Pavilion. We believe that there may have been a tent there or up further, but we have no recollection of a pavilion being here yeah. on South Carolina Avenue. Ah, there it is. All right, I'm let's see it. the next picture. There you go. This is how you figure things out. There it is. What are you so apparently about? there was a child's pavilion here and another pavilion here, which we don't have a magnifying glass to read. And there's the main tent at South Carolina Avenue again. Right. And, and here's beach. another picture of it. There it is. They got a little hut now. That's how it looked. They're, they're starting to get more structure made out of wood rather than canvas anymore. American flag, Atlantic City flag. They're there. Families. There's another picture of the main tent. Now, we figure that this here may be Kentucky Avenue or Maryland, because to, in order to have a pier to the right, it appears that this may be million dollar pier here. Could be. Right. What is the Atlantic City Beach and the lifeguard tent? There's right. no doubt about that. All the lifeguards, pay attention. This is your history of your, of your patrol right here. Well, here you go again. Another good photo from a different angle. Looking back uh -huh. to the right. Here's the child pavilion. Now this Here's card. the shelf on that. This is South Carolina Avenue in the beach. This next card says 1917 on it, but look at the pier. Point, to, point that out. Here's 1917, everyone's sitting in the rowboat getting their picture taken. But if you look back here, 1917, you have a Coca-Cola sign, and as the pier goes out and stops, steeplechase stops, but steel goes on, and look at all the rigging. There's like a hang drop and a Ferris wheel and a and spinning loop, chairs and loop, loop, loop. tilt the world and everything on this end here, which is steeplechase. 1917, and you got two brand names that have been going on since 1917. Right, in order to judge the pictures now, you know in 1917 they actually cut the boat rear and actually made a transom out of the boat. It's not like a canoe anymore. They finally put a rear end on the boat with a loop in here to put an oar out to be a keel or a rudder and all the women around the lifeguard boat. There they are, <laughs> hanging around the lifeguard stand. This is how really nice it looked back about 19, no, no number on it. Well, the boat has a transom, so it's after 1917. It's 1917, 18, or 19, and that's the way people went to the beach. And you can see the, that looks like Heinz Pier in the distance, where you'd go walk all the way out Heinz Pier to get a pickle, so this may be Maryland, States, New Jersey, or Connecticut Avenue, Massachusetts Avenue would be the Heinz Pier. So this is between Virginia and Massachusetts Avenue. I just had a thought the way those two people are, and the two kids are walking the strand. That, that's what people do, walk the length of the beach All down right. there. Here we're getting, coming up a little bit. I'd like to point out the Windsor before you do the train more. There's the Windsor. So when that burned down? 1907. 1910. Yeah. Was a big fire burnt from Illinois Avenue 
to Tennessee, right? The whole four blocks burnt down completely. Creed of Win fire. The Windsor was still there. You can see the train more in wood behind here, and the new edifice that they put up in the front, which is the new Trainware Hotel, in the first stages, I think it went up in four stages. One, two, three, four, right. It went up in four stages, and there it is, and there's the, there's the Brighton Casino and the Blenheim. You can't see the Marlboro House back there, but that's Boardwalk and Park Place right here. And as you notice, the gully came all the way into Boardwalk and Park Place. How about uh, straw hats and people on the beach uh, doing, what's that called? Calisthenics was the right. big word back then. They would do major calisthenics. Here's all the tourists standing along the rail, watching them do calisthenics in, in between here. And these are the way the cabanas were set up. And this is the main beach. As you can see, steeplechase and then steel pier. You can see them both. Now we're going to get a little modern here. We're going to start coming forward. Show you this one first. That's from the side of the steel pier looking be be towards Maryland, States, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut. This would be the Breakers and the St. Charles. And if you notice, in front of the Breakers, no garden pier. No Garden Pier? No Garden Pier. And the theaters, the Globe, the, or the Nixon? The Globe Theater and the Nixon Theater are here, and this would be the States Avenue part of the Bullock right here. You can see the lifeguard tent that we told you about before, and this picture would be taken from Steel Pier. Now it's late because St. Charles has two towers up, and the breakers is complete, but there's still no Garden and Pier. And it's reinforced concrete 1906 Edison, right? Right. So it's beyond that. They're starting to take the 300 uh, feet that was uh, out in front of all the cottages and they're starting to put hotels big ones in the front and here's municipal calisthenics let me get that down this was the city of Atlantic City sponsored calisthenics at Virginia Avenue Beach you can see how they set the line up here with the cabanas and then all these people if you notice there's a guy up here on a platform and he's doing the jumping jacks and the bend and touch your toes and, the, and everything and he's leading this mass of people between Steel Pier and Garden Pier, which is starting to f finish completion with its terracotta roofs and all, in an exercise program. Isn't that something? Isn't that wild? Well, here you go. You're talking about lifeguards. That's what we're talking about. Got two lifeguards keeping her eye on the water, watching the strand. There's an umbrella set up. There's the umbrella set up, and there's the lifeguard stand. And there's the lifeguard boat over here. They usually keep this now directly in front of the stand. No make mistake at Jacob. And those guys, when the tide goes out, they got to walk that stand out 20, 30 feet every 40 minutes or so, move the boat out, move everything back. They follow the tide down, and they follow the tide out. And late in the afternoon, between 3 and 4 and 4 and 5, they have layouts. Every other stand at 3, well, it was, every other stand at 4. I think it was 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Here's the setup. Isn't it's that a, beautiful? Looks like Montpelier Avenue. And it's the lifeguard stand here. Here's the boat, the way they keep in the front now with rollers. Does that mean you? I don't know. Could be anybody from AC. That's right. And then they had to go get somebody, modern-wise. Okay. Here's a run, launching the boat. It's going after someone that's drowning out in the, in the uh, what would you call it? The riptide. Hey. Pulling them out. The undertow's got them, and they're going after them, bringing them back in. Here's a, out, not really the Hotel President, but like Montpelier Avenue, like I said, but there is the Austin and the President. Here's, Here's the, the President the, Hotel. Hello. Here's the Austin still up, not torn down yet, which went down what, 50, 51? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here's the lifeguard stand, Atlantic City lifeguards. They're right there. Here's a lifeguard. Who's this? Norman? Charlie Draper? Oh, man. That's <laughs> Here's the Draper. Chelsea. Who's this? I don't know. <laughs> Bob Garbett. Well, we grew Rod up <laughs> Everybody. They're all out there, Atlantic City people. Here's the panorama in that direction. And there's what it looked like from the side of the Million Dollar Pier, west to Albany. Albany would be this building. The Riviera would be this building. The Oxford and Ventnor would be this building. And there's the lifeguard boat. He covered it. They covered this whole strand, every block a stand, every stretch a tent. This later became Chicken Bone Beach right here that they would... Out in front of Convention uh, Hall. It actually started as a derogatory statement, but then it became like, who cares, you know, every, do, right. become a casual, funny thing, Chicken Bone Beach right Remember, here. Remember, Albany Avenue Beach was 500 yards to the water, and it's now 100 yards. I mean, it's all eaten up. The train more out front? There's the train more complete. 
Here's South Carolina and the beach again. That's a nice one. All right. Here's the main tent now. It's an actual structure with squared hole windows all down and the second floor. Two stories. Two stories before they even got fancy and no porches, no vending machines on the front porch. I hear porch. you. And uh, anyway. Or the back porch. This was the beach to have between the piers. There was the beach that was amazing. It was like a private beach. You had the steel pier on your right and you had your steeplechase on your left. And if you notice what's going on here, the seaside is still old rickety rack wood from the 1850s. You can see the strand, which is almost complete. You can see that the Haddon Hall Arcade is in, and the first structure is in, and then the second structure before the main middle piece goes up, before the two ends go on, it's clear skies in here. So you had the strand and the Haddon Hall only half completed. We saw all the way to the west, have it all the way to the east. What a photo. That was a classic Atlantic City right. photo right there. That's the one that got on all the James Assault water taffy boxes and everything. That's Four Welcome Park Place from the Shel Warner Theater to the Shelburne to the Dennis to the Blenheim to the Marble House to the Claridge to the Brighton to the Madison House to the Park Lane to the Traymore and uptown to Haddon Hall. And beyond the Haddon Hall? Beyond the Haddon Hall. It went even up wilder. What you see here is the old Nixon Theater, which later became the Globe. You see the cottage of uh, St. Charles, and you see what was known as the Rudolph, which became the Breakers. You actually see Keith's apartments down here, which were termed illegal and removed. And here's the Heinz Pier laid right out here. So this is from the east side of Steel Pier, from Virginia Avenue to Massachusetts. Check that lifeguard boat and go from there. If uh, in our times, the 50s, the 60s, etc., 70s, if you were a bad lifeguard, that's where they put you yeah, up you, that way. <laughs> you got put up the inlet if they didn't want you down in the bigger stretches. Like, uh, you know, if you were more popular than some other lifeguard, you got Siberia. But this is Heinz Pier, which was gone when I was from 19... We were born in 47, so it was gone from 44 on. This was Heinz Pier. You walked out here, you got your pickle. There was even roller skating out here. They used to roller skate up and down in here. There you go. Okay. There you go. There's Captain Starnes Inlet Pier. Captain Starnes Restaurant would be back in here. And this was the pier that went out. And this is where all the sailing took place. This would be the frigantine side of Apsecan Inlet. And then a yacht club. I don't know where. It could be the uh, This yacht Coast club Guard. became the Coast Guard Station years later. To the right of my pointer here is actually the seawall. And Seawall is right here. This later became, it was the Yacht Club, but it later became the Coast Guard Station. And then after that, this would be Captain Starnes in here. After that, they moved the Coast Guard Station over to where it is today. And there's a lifeguard postcard of the city of Atlantic City. And this is even stranger. I'd like you to see that. It says, the eyes and ears of the Uncle Sam. There's the Apsican Lighthouse. And this is actually the light that replaced it on the bulwark at New Hampshire by the T-Jetty. This light was a beacon so that ships didn't ground themselves on Apsican Island. And she got out too far. To, uh, and this woman got out on the bell buoy there. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Lloyd Kineski's dive off that thing. It's about a mile offshore. How about and that? And there's the modern lifeguard. There's actually probably the Indiana Avenue Beach. It's How about down, way down, and you see Atlantic City with the modern couple, lifeguard. A couple minutes to go, we have all the same photo. Now, here's the high G of pools, which everybody loves to see. They call us every chance they can to get a picture of this high G of pool right here, which was at Rhode Island to Metropolitan Avenue. This is Metropolitan Avenue here. You can see the lighthouse of Rhode Island and Vermont and Pacific right behind it. That's the way it went. And then you couldn't go on the beach. Like in the miniskirt days back in the 1910s, you weren't allowed on that beach. If, you're, if those women showed their legs or that dress was too short, you got arrested. How about and and right. now, again, another shot of the high G of pools. Went right to, right to Rhode Island Avenue and stopped. The high G of pools are right here, which now it's, the, the building similarly looks like it is a nursing home on this corner at Rhode Island in the Bork. But that's Rhode Island in the Bork, the high G of pools with the Vermont Apartments behind. We have about a minute to go. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. There's the Vermont Apartments. If anyone hasn't seen them, they filmed the movie Atlantic City USA in there and show them the high of pool again. There it is. There it is. And keep, keep tuning in. Right. And Joe Hackney used to die from the rafters. So Hello. we're going to break out.
All it's right. To be continued, the postcard show. All right. Next next week, same time, same station. View it, and we'll show you all the old times of Atlantic City through postcards. Okay. Thank you for tuning in, and like. Hope New York has its lady, San Francisco the Bay, Paris has its tower, London its queen. The town I was born in might change from old to new, that's something I must tell you. I've got sand in my shoes I'll never leave Atlantic City I'll never go Too far away I'll never leave Atlantic City On the boardwalk, the song People come every day Take in the sun and walk on its beaches Might ride in rolling chairs When they look at the brand new Think of the old days Things they used to do Atlantic City my own town I won't forget Atlantic City I'll never leave